Hi, welcome to 1009 Camp White Pine. Come on in. I'm Rose Pearson and this is my studio. It's uh, a little full and tucked up right now. And I'm a teacher at the Halliburton School of Art and Design and the Visual and Creative Arts Diploma, as well as the Painting and Drawing Certificate and the Individual Independent Studio Practice Certificate, um, as well as the Summer School. And uh, as part of that teaching, we are uh, preparing courses for online delivery this fall. So that's what I've been working on mainly right now, which is what you can see going on here. We've got some pressed vegetation that I have gathered and put in my phone book and released. And now I am working with cropping tools and demonstrating how to use a cropping tool to create interesting negative and positive spaces. And, uh, and then from there, teaching how to enlarge using a grid. And you can see I'm actually doing that in my own um, work as well. If you look over here at this canvas, um, I've been uh, gritting up a photograph I've taken of some plants uh, and the grid structure on that and on the canvas. And I'm just working with graphite right now to translate the shapes into the spaces, into the square spaces on, on the canvas. Um, you can see some of my winter reading, uh, which has inspired the choice for this canvas, which is um, a book by Tanizaki called The Praise of Shadows. And, uh, and that led me further into researching Japanese aesthetics. So, uh, so that's a bit of the winter things that have been gelling. Um, some of the things that I'm working on completing right now, you can see uh, are over in this area. Uh, these are flowers from the garden that you probably walk through on your way up. And uh, so working with some of the perennials and wildflowers in the, uh, the surroundings of my house. So I've written, it's got beyond, the, the grid is under there. I've coated it now with um, a layer of acrylic and I'm going back in again, it's sort of a labor intensive uh, process. It's easy to spend a hundred hours on one of these paintings. And uh, so now I'm going back in and just uh, putting more layers of paint on, sort of solidifying, uh, detailing uh, the composition. And uh, some of the other small things that I've been working on are these small panels. Uh, I've been working with the apple blossom quite a bit. And uh, you can see these are done up on birch panels. So they've got a, a sturdy support. And I'm working very mixed media with those um, using plaster mixed in with the acrylic, which can be sanded back and, and treated to look very much like an old world plaster wall um, to that sort of tile, sturdy, aged kind of look, which I find appealing. And uh, some other small works that I've done this winter, some commission work, um, which I'm always open to commissions. You can check out my website to see the kinds of things I do. And uh, yeah, so these two little birds will fly to another home. Um, yeah. And again, that work is, is mixed media. It's uh, got Acrylic paint, and these are the, the jewels are all built up out of acrylic uh, paint and medium, and uh, paper as well. Lots of collage papers that I find piles of it, as you can see here. <laughs> so, um, so I'm working on a, a larger project right now too, which will probably take uh, the first two years, next two years, to just produce the body of work. Um, and that's based on on documenting the family farm where I grew up, which is about an hour south of here. So I've been making regular trips down to that farm, taking my camera and my sketchbook, uh, writing journal entries and taking hundreds of photos as the, the farm unfolds through the seasons. And, uh, and that work sort of grew out of uh, an interest in, in an apple orchard that exists there on the farm in the, in the back acreage that has uh, become overgrown and is very old and hasn't been visited in a very long time. In fact, it's so thick, it's almost um, too thick to be welcoming. And, and uh, this one turn, another thing I was reading was Helen Humphrey's book called The Ghost Orchard, where she documents the history of, of the apple in North America, which is a good, interesting read for anyone who's 
is interested in all those varieties of apples and uh, the caretaking and documenting all of those varieties that have existed. So uh, I, I, I guess we should introduce you to, you're here in the studio, you should also meet the rabbit. They, uh, you do see a lot of uh, rabbits in the work, they keep appearing. So uh, we, can, we can see here, you can meet some of the inspirational creatures that also live with me. This is Cinnamon the bunny. And I think George the cat is maybe out and about looking for chipmunks right now. Right. So thanks for coming. And if you want to see more about my work, you can go to my website. So it's rosepearson.com.